How to Learn and Review Kanji Using an SRS, written by Katsumoto, posted in March of 2008. For reference purposes, let's discuss how one would learn kanji, meaning and writing only, using an SRS. It's quite simple, really. The question section, or the front of the SRS electronic flashcard, contains the keyword, core meaning, of the kanji, and the mnemonic story that links the structural components of the character to the keyword, and also pictures if desired. The answer section, the back of the card, contains the kanji itself. For example, question or front, dementia, a sickness that makes you mentally dodgy. You could also add pictures here, of course, ensure that they do not contain the actual kanji or any of its components. Answer or back is just the kanji. So when you one, see the front of the card, your job is to two, reproduce the kanji from memory, and three, compare your answer to the answer on the card, after which you four, score your performance accordingly. Let's answer some common queries and slash or objections to this idea right here and now. 1. Do you need to go the other way, kanji to keyword? Dr. Hayseg says no, and I would tend to agree with the sensei. 2. Isn't it cheating to give the mnemonic story in the question? Not really, because you still have to reproduce the entire kanji from memory. I think Hayseg actually suggests that you do, in the book where he gives a sample flashcard, but that might be wishful memory. Confirmation, anyone? Anyway, I recommend you do it. 3. What about readings? You learn those later, in the context of sentences. It's easier that way. 4. Are you sure? Yes. 5. What's with these stories? Why am I memorizing stupid stories? It's called a mnemonic device. It's the basis of virtually all human active memory techniques and so-called tricks. And one way or another, producing kanji from memory, indeed language itself, is a memory trick. The kanji stories will eventually fall away quite naturally, like scaffolding, leaving only the kanji. 6. Are you sure about the readings? If you love reading so much, why don't you marry them? If you want, you could include maybe one reading in the question section to get yourself familiar with it, but there is really no need other than that, as I see it right now. Just focus on the kanji. Readings come later, seriously. Just do it now. You'll thank me later. 7. Should I continue reviewing kanji after, like, finishing RTK? Definitely, yes. Big yes. As always, anyone with useful tips and advice, please feel free to share.